Hello. Today, I want to share with you one source from which you can draw inspiration and tips when working with Midjourney. Sometimes you may not know what to write or how to express your desire when generating images. I hope I will help you with this, watch the video to the end, there I will tell you where you can find the full information from this video. So we have the styles section where you can find hints on themes, design styles, lighting, geometry, and more. Next is the comparison section. Here you can see how the generated images will differ depending on the quality parameters you set, format, mid-journey version and much more. Let's just clearly show with an example what we can peep in this source. Suppose we have moved to the themes section. Here we can select subsections for example, realism and abstraction. Here you can see certain words that we can use to get an approximate result. For example, you can complete the request in retro style or modern. I will also quickly show you some other subsections so that you can understand what else you can find here. In my opinion, all these sections contain a lot of useful information that can inspire you to create new images. Another section is Design Styles. This is something similar to the previous section, you can also use these prompts to give your request the style and look you want. For example, you can make your image more complex or simpler. You can also give specific patterns to your image. There is a subsection of Elegance, Beauty, and Appeal. And a few more, I'll show you quickly. I think after seeing all these tips, you will definitely have something to do in the near future. And that's not all, it will be more interesting further. Here is a section called Stylize Parameter. This parameter will make your image more stylized. If you look closely, you may notice how your image will change depending on what value you specify for this parameter. The quality parameter will define how long the AI spends creating your image. The longer, the better image quality you get. Here is another section called Chaos Parameter. The Chaos Parameter will add more randomness to your images. In practice, it seems to make them more stylized. Here you can see how depending on the value of this parameter, you will get a more embellished result, slightly different from the original request. Here is another interesting section, Tile Parameter. I will try to explain to you in a simple way what he gives us. You can write your query without specifying this parameter, then you get a simple result. This is the left column. In the middle column you can see the result you get if you add this parameter to your prompt. The essence of the images obtained using this parameter is that you can combine the resulting image in any direction and you will get a seamless structure, that is, each next image is a continuation of the previous one. In general, in the third column, this is clearly shown what happens if you combine an image with this parameter into a 3x3 grid. In conclusion, the section where you can see the color palette in which you might want to generate an image. There are really a lot of options, not even everything loaded. I try my best to make useful content for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you have no idea how important it is for the development of my channel. Oh yes, I promised you to give a link to the information from this video with tips on mid-journey, you can find it in the description of this video. Thank you all for watching, see you soon.